Kia ora team, my name is Ben and this gorgeous paramedic is... I'm Brayden. Alright, and today we're going to go through oxygen delivery methods. So first up, um, we're going to get to nasal prongs. Get back in the shot, Sunshine. <laughs> Good. Nasal prongs are our least invasive oxygen delivery method and they give 1 to 4 litres per minute with a percent of the oxygen, 24 to 40%. Alright, show us what you got. Great, so nasal prongs, um, at one end we've had the portion that plugs into the oxygen bottle, at the other end we have the nasal prongs themselves. And can you hold that for me? So ideally with the patient's consent, we we'll are be taking the nasal prongs and then sliding them into the nose and then around the ears. Once in the nose and around the ears, I'm just going to tighten up the tube to make sure. Then I'll put this on two to four liters or have it running already. That's it. Gorgeous. Lovely. Here we go. Next up, we've got a simple mask. So when we need a higher percent of oxygen and a higher flow rate, our simple mask, which is also known as an acute or a Hudson mask, can deliver six to eight liters per minute. And we've got two sizes for an adult or a pediatric. Great. With our Hudson mask or acute mask or simple mask, we've got two kind of ends. This right here, this point is where our oxygen tube goes into. The other side get plugged into the cylinder. Making sure that we turn the oxygen on before attaching it to the patient's face as it might make them a bit claustrophobic. Putting it on, I'm just going to slightly put it right over the face, make sure that this reaches the bridge of their nose, and just going to make sure it fits nice and tight. With the oxygen flowing, hopefully he'll get the oxygen he needs. Gorgeous. The next mask we'll look at is the nebulizer mask. So this one, we have a flow rate of 8 liters per minute. And why do we use this one? Great, so we're going to use this mask to deliver our nebulized medications like salbutamol, ipotropium, or potentially adrenaline. Um, our nebulizer mask has a few different components. We've got the nebulizing chamber here. We've got our oxygen tubing. Then we have the mask itself. Um, ideally, we want to have this plugged in but not turned on. The nebulizer chamber opens up with a slight twist. The medication goes into the chamber right here where we start screwing back on. Once that's on, we turn our flow rate up to 8 liters and we attach this to the patient's face, just as such. Now, it's important to recognize that the medication is just to deliver medication, not to deliver oxygen. That's the main goal of this. Lovely. Now, when we want a higher flow rate of oxygen, our next mask is the non-rebreather or reservoir mask or a high concentration mask. So this one is when we have a flow rate of 10 to 15 liters per minute, and we can get up to 90% oxygen. Let's have a look. Great. So this is our non-rebreather. The big difference between our non-rebreather and our simple is the reservoir itself at the bottom. Why well, gets its name reservoir mask. On the side, we have an attachment where we're just going to attach our oxygen tubing. Again, this end will attach to the oxygen, and we're going to have oxygen flowing at 10 to 15 liters. Hopefully, the reservoir bag should be filling by this point. Once it's filled, we'll put it on the patient's face, make sure the mask is tightly over, and we can give a quick pinch. And that allows for oxygen to be delivered. Great. All right, and then lucky last, we have the bag valve mask. So we have a flow rate of 10 to 15 liters per minute, and this is going to give us 100% oxygen. And these are patients who need significant amounts of oxygen and or PEEP and or ventilation assistance. Great, so this is our bag valve mask. Um, we've got oxygen tubing attached to the bottom. We also have our reservoir. Uh, on the bag valve mask itself, depending on the bag you have, you have PEEP that gets attached on, where it can be turned to the side. We also have our filter and our mask. Uh, this would be attached to the oxygen, and we'd have a flow rate um, of 10 to 15 liters, as Ben was saying. This, we need to make sure we have a good tight seal on the patient's face with either a CE or a VE grip, um, especially when providing PEEP. It needs to have a good seal. <laughs> okay, that's gold. <laughs> <laughs>